The angel Gabriel was sent to a priest from the Levitical tribe of Abijah who was ministering in the temple. Good news, Zachariah, your prayers have been heard. Your wife, who has been barren all of these years, will have a son. Zechariah returned from Jerusalem to his home in the Judean hill country and shared this incredible news with his wife, Elizabeth. When the older, barren woman became pregnant, it was viewed as a miracle and a sign to the people of God that the time was fulfilled. Because of Zechariah's position as a priest, and his wife's pregnancy in her advanced age, news of this angelic visitation would have been broadcast throughout the region. When the boy was to be circumcised on his eighth day, Elizabeth said, his name is John. The people resisted the idea and gave a writing tablet to the dumb priest. To their amazement, he wrote, John. Immediately, the priest's tongue was loosed and he began praising God. Luke notes, everyone who heard this wondered about it, asking, what then is this child going to be? John's birth stirred the hearts of the righteous living in Jerusalem and the surrounding areas. His miracle birth captured the imagination of Zachariah's fellow priests in the temple. Zachariah prophesied about his son, and you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. This miracle child was identified as the prophet of the Most High who would prepare the way for the Messiah. Can you imagine the incredible sense of excitement that must have been in the air? The long-awaited promise of the Messiah is now going to be fulfilled. A 6th century Byzantine tradition identified this village of Encarim as the home of Zechariah and Elizabeth and the hill country of Judea. This village of Encarim is about five miles west of Jerusalem and means spring of the vineyard. This has been a well-watered place since ancient times. The lovely church of St. John in Encarim was built by the Franciscans in the 17th century over the foundation of the earlier Byzantine and Crusader churches. The building is filled with beautiful art depicting the story of John's birth. Below the altar is a grotto or cave that marks the place where many believe that John was born.